We are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Avalanche have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. From the point, they take control of it. Sends the pass down low. Here's a short pass to Lekanen. Big play inside the defensive zone. They fight for it along the boards. Tries to get the puck over to Champion. Moves it to the middle. He scores! Minnesota's talked a lot about getting off to good starts, and look at this, case in point right here. Well, yeah, you get up by one goal early in the game, and it just creates momentum all around your bench. Everyone gets on the ice, they want to contribute, they want to be the one to get the goal on the board and continue to increase this lead. I think they've been real effective to start this game. Fires it, and that doesn't reach the net. Quick shot. Strong. You have to have that center of gravity, but you also have to have a lot of core strength to be able to ward off your opponent and shield the puck like he did. And as a result, it winds up in the back of the net. We get to the shot off from those coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. The Avs looking against the half wall. Devastating hit into the boards and listen to this building rattle. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent... And he wins the post! Minnesota's trying to gain some momentum in a tie game here, but it's tough to do when they keep winging them off the post. Moves it to the middle! in front. Right up the gut. Here they go. Drills them. Moves it to McCarr. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Here they come on the rush. To his teammate. Great stop by Cooker. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Minnesota's looking to break out. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Avs take possession here in the open ice. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful jack! Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front! Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. Well, I really like the way they've competed here, James. They get the go-ahead goal, but they got to find a way to continue to attack. you got to play with killer instincts, especially when there's so much time left. Stalls won it. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Pokes it away in his own end. Quick feed down low. Incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Nachuskin. He was locked in there. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Avs are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Collins won the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Gostaspare. The Avs have it against the wall. 
They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Dumps the puck in. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Collins got it in the offensive zone. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Oh my goodness, what a hit! The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind and he's going to be the foundation tonight. Takes the feet at center and moves forward. Oh, and he's dialed in tonight. What a save on that one. Takes the feed. Solid hit on that play. Oh, he'll feel that one. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. And now it's to LeBanc. Taken by Johnson. The Avs take it across the blue line. Centering feed! And that's stopped! Bufflin stick handling in his own zone. Shot! Stones him in front! Well past the midway mark of this period, it's a 2-1 game. Minnesota's won it, now they'll go on the attack. And that goes off a stick. Scrum along the boards. Grabs control of it at the point. The Avalanche have the puck in their own zone. Through pass ahead. First pass leads to the offense, that's a great one. Too much traffic in the lane. Yeah, running their mouths, and now they're fighting, and you gotta figure something was said that they didn't like. And there's the takedown. I think not a moment too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. Over to the penalty box they go, James, and they'll get some much-needed rest. Well, it's going to be five minutes. They can get some water and relax. Both coaches seem to have settled down their benches, and both teams are lining up here for the face-off. Minnesota's won the draw, they'll go to work. Picked up along the boards by Silverberg. And he slides it quickly to Burns. Hammers the shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Champion's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Minnesota's got it and they're on the attack. Saved by Pickard. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Here in the back half of this period, the Avs are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Henrik's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Puck gets loose. We'll get some flow again here. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Intercepts the pass at center. Shot! Makes the save. Oh, and it's another save on the play. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Just a crushing hit against the wall. And it's a textbook body contact there. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Scrum ensues along the boards. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Gains control of the puck here at the line. 
Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Slides the puck across to Niskanen. What a collision there, and that frees up a little room. Denies him! A player should never be left alone in this slot, but man, is the goaltender in a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Fires it into the offensive zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Quick pass to Pominville. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance at a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. John's injury has ruled him out for the remainder of this game. He just received confirmation, James, and this is a real tough blow when you hear it from the medical staff. I mean, he's got to be feeling it extremely frustrated now. What do you do with the lineup? Well, unfortunate news, but at least it provides clarity for the coaching staff one way or another going forward. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. And it's a quick pass to Michael. Rocks him on the play. Great save by Pickard. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Lots of time left in this period. Colorado's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. What a steal in his own end. He grabs the puck here at the point. Pickard's going to hang on for a whistle, and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, it's part of their mental preparation as a goaltender. Even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that, and he makes a nice cover. Slick feed. And that goes off a of body. On the one-timer. Oh, tremendous reflexes as he turns aside the one-timer. Wow. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the face-off. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves inside! The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. The Avs played along the wing. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Takes the feed. Scores! And we are back to even! Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. Well, this is an unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Wild have been pushing hard all night long, and they finally got that equalizer, Cheryl. Yeah, they get rewarded for their hard work, and they've been physical as well, looking to close on their opponent quickly and counterattack. This is a fun one. Puck is dropped, play resumes. Here's a short pass to Heatley. Shot! Turned aside with a glove by Pickard. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's all tied up. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And it takes a shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Moves it to Johansson. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. And the puck skips away after that move. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a tie game. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. Minnesota's won the draw. And that's 
broken up. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. Feeds the puck to Gerard. Here we go, odd man rush here. And sends it just out of reach. Thunderous collision on the play. And look at the bench set up. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Power forward. Oh, the out on the play. Whoa. A true competitor's save just when you think that he's completely out of it, James. He comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Picked up against the glass. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Fires it on net. Denied by the puck stopper. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Tries to get it to Enron. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the club. Still lots of time left here in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Colton's won the faceoff. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. LeBanks got the puck. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Stretch pass. That's how you get north in a hurry. Fantastic stretch pass. Quick feed to Granlin. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. And they come up with possession off that battle. Colorado's in on the offensive attack now. Tries to the crease. Oh, a clutch save. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. They gain the zone from the left side. Back at the point, they set it up. Scooped up along the wall by Granlin. Oh, just a great heads up play by Manson. And now he tries to get it across to Johansson. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Oh, he scores! The goal Next shift, critically important. 
That's a great shot, James. The goaltender's in a solid position, but that low stick side shot, that's a difficult one to stop. The Avs' patience finally pays off. They stay with it, and they now have the lead in the back half of the second here, Cheryl. shots and so far plenty of scoring chances and yet they still trail here in the second off the draw they take possession quick pass to Niskanen uses the force on that hit skates to the crease stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one here's a short pass to him and another save He's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Feeds it up ahead. Minnesota's got the puck. Nice dish from the left wing. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. And this is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that pass goes off a stick. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Moves him to Lekanen. And that's picked off by Heatley. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. bradlin has got that zone ability that can help him generate some chances, guys. With the team trailing here, let's look to him to try to make a difference for them. Stalls, quick stick, lands from the puck here at center. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Great defensive stick work on the play. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Stahl. And that's offside, stopping the play. Minnesota's got to find ways to finish because they continue to trail here late in the second. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. The Avalanche have taken possession in their own end. And they keep the pressure on. And screaming for a shot as the clock winds down. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. It's going to throw it to 80s hockey here and we are underway here in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Colorado's ahead in this game, James, but for how long is the big question? I mean, the opponent just keeps storming back after a goal. This is a modern day offensive game. No defense is being shown on this one. Michaels won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Pickard's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident, controlled in the crease. Lots of time left in this period. It's a one-goal game at this point. 4-3 is the score. Michaels won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. And he stopped that one. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there is, and you can just feel the aroma of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Minnesota's had no shortage of offensive scoring chances. 
chances, but they still trail here in this third period. Colorado's won the draw. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. And that pass is redirected. And he makes the save on that play. Now a quick pass to Gerard. Picks off the feed. Silverberg's got it on the offensive end. Minnesota's on the attack. Quick feed to McCarr. Gains the zone on the left wing. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Picked off by Landeskog. Moves it quickly over to McCarr. And he takes the feed. The Wild have the puck against the boards. And they continue to apply pressure here. Takes the puck at the point. Quick pass to Nichuskin. Takes the return feed. Gets the puck in deep. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Can't get it to go. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. The Avs look to start the transition game. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Burns plays it now. Takes that pass back at the point. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Pickard's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. McKinnon's won the draw inside his own end. He got all of that one. And now he angles it across to Rantanen. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. And he takes the dish. Gives him nothing in front. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Love goes up, makes the save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Avs lead it 4-3. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Slides it over to Rantanen. Here's a short pass to Wood. Colorado's got possession at center. Looks to make a play over to Gostaspair. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Fitzgerald. And some good footwork to kick it away. There's the whistle. We'll get a reset after the net was knocked off. Minnesota's had a lot to like about their game tonight. Decided advantage in the shot department, but they still trail here in the third. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Big time stop. Well, he's got an uncanny knack to find open space and drive to the net, James. It's because of his slippery hands. And when he gets in, he typically finds the back of the net, but not this time. Goaltender read him all the way. Steps in front of it for the block. Woods into the offensive zone now on the attack. Hammers it into the boards. Moves it over to Prosser. Look out, here they come on the attack. Absolutely fearless to step in front of that shot. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Into the attacking area from the left side. Puck picked up by Silver. chance on this one. I mean, such a quick release shot. It almost like a flick of the wrist to skies the shot, and it was in the back of the net. The 
the Wild have made this a hockey game and an exciting one at that here in the third. We're coming down right to the wire, and this one's been so exciting, James, but a great job to get it back to evens. They just kept pushing all game long. Now the coaches got to put their goal scorers out there and play for the win. The Avs gain possession. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, what a close oh, save! Oh. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Canadians are up next, according to the league's schedule makers, and no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available, should be a good one. And Ross got it in the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. And it banks off a stick in traffic. Takes the feed at the point. Here he is in front! He and the deadlock is broken as they take the lead! Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. in front by a one goal margin here in the third. Uh, and it's tough to close these types of games out because it's been scratching and clawing by both teams all the way along here, James. So you know that this one's going to be a test to the finish. They got to be ready for it. The opponent's going to come with some urgency now. They've already got two goals. Another one would be fantastic. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Minnesota's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Colton's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Dumps it into the Ozone. Bufflin's taking it from his own end. And he takes the pass. Picks up the puck. Prints it and rips it, and he gets it. in the body language. Minnesota's been on a roll offensively tonight. Lots of chances, and they lead it late in this third. Nice job tying up his opponent. And loses possession after a solid hit. Blocked in traffic. Pinned up along the boards. Gets loose. Takes control of the puck. Moves it to champion. Jabs the puck away. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Oh, and he reaches out with the club saves. Wow. Standing by Carlin Bade with her own thoughts on the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Michael's finish was hard to ignore in tonight's matchup, guys. I thought he had a solid game, and I'm giving him my vote in this one. Sends the pass over. And that puck leaves the zone. Koivu's got it in the defensive end. And he loses control of the puck. There's a chance in front! What a chance, but they can't connect! He was totally locked in on that play. Across the line along the left wall. And now he moves it quickly to Silverberg. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And it's pushed away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Quick feed to Lekanen. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Here they come on the attack. Handles the pass. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. Save again, 
Kevin James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Minnesota's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. And they win the draw on their own end. Strong hit on the play. Power forward, a shot into the net. Scores into the net. This was right in my wheelhouse, James. These were the type of moments that I played in, and everyone can take a breath now that the insurance marker has hit the 4 by 6 Well, this isn't just a power play here, James, by being able to hold on to the puck while you're being jostled and shot. It's also the awareness piece to have your head up knowing where everyone is on the ice while you're under that kind of pressure. And then you get an assist and it winds up in the back of the net to boot. That's just a great play all the way around. Michaels, one possession. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Glove save made by Pickard. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Minnesota's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Michaels won the draw and they'll look to set up. Champions looking to make something happen here in the corner. Stopped by the goaltender. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. Sorry, James, didn't Step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. There's the horn, and that makes it 10 straight W's. What a night! And the crowd is popping off. Pay a tribute for what they recognize as 10. for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon. For all of us here at EA Sports, stay safe.